Hello, Bridge players. Welcome once again to the beating discussion with Mark Smith. We have a talk about the hands in the BBO beating contest. Let's hear from Mark. Hello, Mark. How are you doing? Yeah, good morning. It's autumnal here now. Yeah, well, uh, here we're the last days of uh, cold. We are changing our time again. Uh, to go back to minus three. Yeah, I don't know. I, yeah, I don't know when our, our strange is sometime in the next couple of weeks, I suppose. Well, we, we've we got some uh, interesting hands from the previous uh, months to discuss. Yeah. So we, yeah, it turned out to be quite a difficult set. Yeah. Because the you for the last three or four months, you needed about 72 out of 80 to get on the leaderboard, but this month, 67 got you on the leaderboard. Yeah, that's amazing. In this mm. one, I remember I recommended the uh, Qubit, or I mentioned it in number yeah. one. Well, the, it the was going to be three clubs, or, three clubs or three diamonds. Or three diamonds be yeah. most, those are always going to be the two most popular choices. Yeah, but the difference is quite uh, big. I mean, there were 13 votes for yeah. three clubs yeah. and only six for three diamonds. The competitors chose only two diamonds, which might be past and two, diamond, two diamonds and double. Yeah. Which to me, they're both, well, two diamonds, I mean, you've got 14 points and partners open the bidding. So two diamonds is clearly not forcing. It seems ridiculous to try and not make it what you think is a forcing bid. And double, well, double to me is even more insane. I don't care if it is take out, partner's not going to take it out a lot of the time. And I don't want to depend on this hand. Then we have hand number three. The biggest group of competitors did choose one of the two bids that the panel chose, basically. Most people chose uh, four clubs, which is the second one. Almost 50% chose either three spades or pass. A pass, well, you know, pass is a, a really... And that's a shootout trying to get 200 against a pass score. Yeah. I mean, you're going to concede three diamonds doubled a lot of the time, I think. I mean, three diamonds double is going to make a lot of the time. Yeah, well, I, I guess they are uh, uh, expecting to lead their singleton heart and uh, get a rough and then <laughs> something to that effect, I suppose. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, three, clubs double, three diamonds double might be right. But... I remember you recommended the, f the four diamonds cubed as an imps uh, decision more than a match point decision. Yeah, well, match points, you're trying to get a plus score, and four clubs seems most likely to get your plus score. And imps, you're trying to get to the right game. Yeah. You know, so I think at imps, more people would bid four diamonds. What was the other one? Hand eight. Yeah, it was, I think it was one diamond, one heart, three diamonds. Yeah, it's another match point problem. Yeah. In that at imps, most people would bid four diamonds and figure that five diamonds, if three different is going to make those five diamonds, so we might as well investigate slam on the way to four diamonds, so four clubs or four diamonds exactly. would be the top score. But at match points, the idea, if you can make three no trumps, you don't want to go past three no trump. Exactly. That's what we talked about. And uh, we, we said that three hearts was probably going to be better for that. Most people chose to beat five diamonds or three no trump themselves. Yeah, they're just guessing. Committing, yeah, guessing, exactly. Yeah, rather than actually trying to find out what the right contract is, they're just guessing what it is. And if you're going to bid five diamonds, you might as well bid four diamonds or four clubs, just in case you can make a slam. All right, let's uh, see the let's uh, see the problems from this uh, month. Yeah, uh, let me see what the... We start uh, with an uh, imp situation where we open the bidding with 11 high card points, which might seem low, but now partner beats one spade, which is our side four card suit. And we've got a void too. So I guess. Uh, the minimum here would be to beat three spades, four spades, another possibility, and I guess 
some people are going to be the four hearts. Or three hearts. I've got five different votes so far. Wow. Three space, four space, three hearts, four hearts, and four clubs. Four clubs. Yeah, I was going to mention four clubs, so that I would have beat four clubs if my ace of diamonds was in the space. And which one do you like the most? Either three hearts or four clubs. I think it's too good for three spades. I think uh, somebody, but I think Sally, but four hearts, saying that she plays three hearts is stronger than four hearts in this auction. But four hearts is more on shape than three hearts is high cuts. And which one is uh, winning the the vote so far? Three clubs at the moment, but I've only got like seven votes in. I suspect three hearts or four clubs will end up as the most popular bid. With three spades and four spades, Barton's going to expect more of a high card race. Yeah. But he might be four hearts with this. Or he might be three hearts if we don't think it's good enough for four hearts. But if you beat three hearts, would you be willing to to stay in three spades? Or... Well, I suppose, yeah, if you beat three hearts and Barton beats three spades, you're probably going to pass it. Yeah. Partner almost certainly has five spades. If neither opponent has bid hearts, therefore Barton's likely to have four hearts. Since he bid a spade over your club, he has... If he has four hearts, he must have five spades. What about the the real hand, the original hand? Yeah, six spades was good. He had ace, queen, jack, ten to five spades. And the king of islands and the singleton club. All right, let's see hand uh, number two. Well, here we got quite a strong yeah, this, hand. Yeah, uh, I'm afraid this, this, this is the bum hand of the month. Yeah? Yeah. Everybody's doing the same. So at the table, when it came up against us in a Crockford's match, the man bid five spades, which I thought was quite intelligent. But I think most of the panel are going to sidestep how many spades to bid by bidding four clubs. All right. And number three, we doubled one spade. Partner bid two diamonds. They beat two spades. We supported uh, with three diamonds. They beat three spades now. Yeah. I guess we could uh, continue our competition by beating either four clubs or four diamonds, but also, I guess, uh, double is uh, a possibility here, isn't it? Yeah, past double and four diamonds are the options, really. I mean, at the table, it was right to bid five. It was right to bid four diamonds. You could make four diamonds, and they could make three spades. Oh, so the double didn't work. Yeah, the thing is that uh, Ace King, Queen Jack, Fifth in Diamonds doesn't seem to bring in that many tricks in defense. No. No, Pat had five small diamonds and the King of Clubs, Singleton King of Clubs. Mm. It's a close match point decision, you know. Yeah, definitely. Because uh, you, I think you downplayed your hand in the previous round by beating only three diamonds. Marty Bergen abstained because he claimed that three spades was obvious on the round before. So since a lot of people don't think they should be bidding over three spades now, I don't think the hand was worth I mean, if you take away the Queen Jack of Diamonds, which is effectively it's the same hand, it wouldn't occur to you to bid any more than three diamonds on the round before. Well, let's see number four. It's imps again, yeah, and well. we open a diamond. They beat one spade and partner beat one no trump. Pass by south and we can ask ourselves where are the hearts? And we've got an eight car suit in diamonds, so we might want to play there. So maybe we're no, going to be at the at the table, uh Alan Mould sent me the hand, it was a, a gold cup match and at both tables they bid five diamonds. Mm, too little. And six was cold. Yeah. yeah. So I think we have to explore something else. And I would say two spades sounds like a good start. Two spades is definitely one option that I've got votes for. Okay. And three hearts and four hearts I've got votes for. Well, yeah, like an auto splinter, right? Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, I, I don't quite manage that uh, option, but I, I see. It makes sense a lot here. And which one is winning the, the votes? Uh, well, it's very close at the moment. The voting at the moment is two spades, three, three hearts, two, five diamonds and four hearts, one each. So, you know. Yeah, anything could happen here. 
everything that's happened, that those are going to be the four options. Again, I think two spades and three hearts will be the most popular. The good thing about two spades, as we always mention, is that it's uh, pretty low. The good thing about three hearts is that it shows better what we have, I guess. Yes, yeah, indeed. Then we have hand number five, where we double one spade, then they beat three spade, which is who could have guessed. And now partner beats uh, four clubs, uh, yeah. which is our two card suit. We probably doubled, expecting to beat hearts next. So I'm guessing we could do that, like four hearts. Well, I think the problem with this hand is going to prove to be the original double. We should have overcalled two hearts the first time. Seeing the problem now, I understand that, but I, I think we wanted to show our strength by doubling first. I mean, four hearts is probably going to be the most popular bit. I mean, it, this is actually the companion hand to one a couple of months ago. Okay. Where we had King X singleton, Queen to four, and King ten, nine to six. So six diamonds is cold, five clubs is cold, and four hearts is completely no play. Ah, uh, yeah. I, that, I think that was even the previous month, maybe. Or, or yeah, it not? Yeah, it was, it was not the one we'd just done, the one before. But at the moment, I've got votes for four hearts and five clubs. So, and pass, I think, is the other option. You know, we've, we've got ourselves into a difficult position by doubling. Yeah. Let's see number six, which was three clubs by partner, three spades by south, and our turn. All right, and what do you think it's... Uh, I think five clubs is... I think five clubs probably is best. Yeah. One, you might make five clubs. That, that, and two, you might get them to five spades. What, what I don't like much about five spades is since we are vulnerable, they might want to double us if they have a, a, a hand that seems like that. And they they might believe us that five clubs make so. Actually, six clubs made as it happened, but you have to get the diamonds right. Partner had three low, void, three low, ace, king, jack, to seven. And what diamonds were 31? Yeah, they were queen to three on side. You have to get them right. Mm. All right, let's see hand number uh, seven now. Three, six, seven. Yeah. Hand number seven. We've got uh, the majors, six, four. Partner open, one club. They enter with one diamond. We beat one heart. They beat three diamonds. Which is preemptive, I guess, yes. So he's got uh, probably not so strong hand, but we've got a 6 4. So maybe we want to double in order for partner to either support our hearts or beat spades, I guess. That's obviously one choice, yeah. The choices are obviously past double three hearts. Okay, well. Yeah, I thought three hearts too because I mean we've got six. So speed it yeah, in. I mean those are the three. Those are the three sensible options. But why, why would why would we pass here? Well, because nobody can make anything. <laughs> pass pass was the winning option. Three diamonds was going down, and so was three hearts, and so was three spades. Oh, right. Partner was three two two six. Three hearts and four clubs were both one down, and so was three diamonds. Have you got any votes for pass? Uh, yeah. I so far have four for three hearts, two for double, and one for pass. Well, I guess it's better to play three hearts by by beating it than to double and find yourself in four clubs. Yeah, although well, both three hearts and four clubs are one down, but that's the problem. Is if you do double, you might be in four clubs rather than three hearts, is right. Yeah. Part of that queen extra hearts. King, queen, trapped to six clubs. Mm. Yeah, an aceless hand. I mean, uh, ace of spades. Yeah, the ace of spades. I think. Um, the ace of three spades. And then number eight is uh, one of Trump, which shows uh, fifteen seventeen. We passed because we had only seven high card points. Now they beat two hearts and partner doubled, which shows. Two hearts. I take out. Yeah. 
Well, if we've got to uh, take out... Well, I've got votes for five different bits so far. Five different bits. So, I suppose Do Not Trump is one of them. Do Not Trump is one of them, yeah. And I guess uh, three, four, and five diamonds. No, three yeah. diamonds I've got. Wow. I don't understand one uh, of the bits. Three hearts, I guess. That's three hearts, yeah. yeah. I've got that. One of the bits I don't understand, and and one for the bit that was made at the table. Oh, okay. So two spades, I suppose. No, I've got a vote for three spades, curiously. I have no, I have no idea what that means. Three spades. Well, maybe it means I have three spades. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't understand three spades, but there you go. And I've also got a vote for the bit made at the table, which is why I included this hand, because it's such an unusual auction. Okay, so what 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 did they do at the table? Versace bid four, no Trump. Who? Versace. Versace. Four, no Trump. Yeah, I, I was going to mention that at at one point if we continue not to find what to say. Yeah, four, no Trump uh, is the one. She's a she's a minor partner. Yeah. I mean, we're we're expecting, which is weird because they didn't support. Their, their hearts, but we're expecting you know, to father, you know, father's got four of one of the miners at least, exactly. And he's got no point yeah. in in heart, so there, there may be a lot of tricks if we find a good fit. Which, yeah, I mean, five diamonds made, yeah. I just thought it was an amazing auction that you passed one no Trump and now you've been four no Trump. <laughs> yeah. I just thought it was a great auction, yeah. Three hearts is a, a sensible way to start, I think. I think three hearts will probably three hearts will probably be the the most popular choice, I suspect. But who knows? Two no Trump might be. Um, yeah, two no Trump is like a a more, more down to earth version, a non Versace version of uh, four no. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yes. Yeah, so it doesn't commit you if you've been two no Trump and part of mystery of a minor, I, I, then you've been four the minor maybe. Or, yeah. And you did a lot. I think all of them, all of them, apart from hand two, there's quite a lot of options. Yeah, yeah. Some more than others. I mean, there was one that only had three options, but uh... yeah, but yeah, but they're yeah, they're well spread amongst them. It's hard to pick which one's going to be the most popular. Oh, and for hand five as well, probably four hearts is going to be the most popular. So two and five probably are easy tens. But the other ones, the others are quite hard to pick, which is going to be the most popular. All right, good. I'll speak to you later. Sure. Thanks, Hanoi. Thank you. Yeah, Bye. All right. And that was it for this month. I hope you have good pointers. Remember, as usual, to give a like on YouTube and to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. See you.